Women on a track or two, I talk to women, I just can't talk for women, that's for you, we need women for that, more women in rap, even tracks like Qualys for women, that's still only half the view of the world, there's no girls rapping, so we only hear and have the truth, what we have to lose, too much half our youth aren't represented, the better halves of dudes, so we don't hear about your brain, just your brains, how you rock a fella, Stacey Dash Dames, we just need your voice like a acapella, something in the music's gotta change. Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for our main event. Ten rounds in the middleweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Brooks's ring walk is one of those ring walks where you realize how attentive this fighter is. This is a guy who has his eye on the prize and nothing will distract him. Lights out's making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Remember, all the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. He loves popping that jab. I mean, he will target your head and set up everything else off of that punch. Well, he pulls you back a little bit off the jab, and then he fools you a little bit. You know, he's a little bit of a magician, a little sleight of hand. Then he makes you feel like he's going to push you back again, and he'll step back and he'll counter you. But that jab is what makes it all happen. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have varied punches throughout. Exactly, and what he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to be predictable. You're doing great. Halfway through round number one. Unable to score with the hook. Oh, hands up, hands up. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Lights out's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Good block by lights out. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Nice strike after catching one by lights out. The countdown, the final moments of this round. 
not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Brooks' last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside and you're lost, you need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some directions. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. What impact from that uppercut by Brooks. Unable to score with the hook. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Brooks it. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. He is staggered and stumbling. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Wow, is he defensively sound. Brooks is doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. So the round comes to its conclusion, and it's a round in which our man here, as he heads back, was really tagged pretty solid. So if you're the trainer in the corner, what's your approach? Well, you know, that's a great question. My approach is that I have to remind him that he's on common ground. He's probably going to think he's in a place where he's never been before, but I'm going to remind him, hey, remember you got hurt in the gym? And then give him something to correct the problem. You know, tell him some technical things that he needs to hear. Super two-punch combo by left hook. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by left hook. Keep it up. Nice two-punch combo by Lights Out. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Commits nice to the straight go. right. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. On the mark to the body with a left hook that followed up a right hand. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Well targeted two punch combo by left hook. A stinging uppercut by Brooks. And round three comes to an end. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing.
Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here as round number four is underway. Brooks is in control so far, two rounds to one. Still anybody's fight. I think he's been the busier guy, though. Yeah, he has been the busier guy. And also, he's been the better real estate agent. You know, location, location, location. He's been in the right position for his style. He's been in tight. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're keep seeing moving, here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by left hook. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Back and forth exchange. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Halfway through round number four. Left hook's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Hey, Brooks is making for a tough target there. Let's he go. gets away from that punch. Great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Brooks. Now committing to that jab straight hand, and it works out. Oh, to Off to the you. side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Brooks is giving his opponent fits right here. His head movement is making for such an elusive target. Yes, it is. Now the opponent has to make an adjustment. He has to realize that he's finding air more than he's finding any surface up top. So go downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. That is start to take away some of that head movement. Double up on your punches. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. On the mark with the combination by Brooks. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by left hook. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. And a well-targeted combination by lights out. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Left hooks putting on a show here. Defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities. Holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. He comes back with the left hand again. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Really fun looking fight so far here. We've reached the halfway mark. Teddy, your impressions as to what we're gonna see in the second half of this fight? More of the same. I don't think these fighters know how to do anything, at least tonight. They came here with this mentality, and you know what? You can't really change gears at this point. You're gonna see more of the same. Lights out, it's doing well here with that two punch combination.
Come on, cover all. Relax, relax. Brooks is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that? A credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Lights out so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Looking good. Watch the hook. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Combo lands to the head. Get after him! Very nice. How about that left right there? He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Lights Out. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Just keep working, and this is your fight. Don't get lazy at And we are back underway. Another round in a fight. That's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Brooks has got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? See, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. He just missed that shot up top. You're still not moving enough. Move, way about that. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Lights Out. How about that exchange? That's a big, big shot he just scored with. Lights out, crushed by a right. And bang, and away he goes. Brooks, his defense didn't stand up to it. That combination put him down. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Oh, what a big hook to the head by left hook. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. And now he's targeting upstairs. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Gotta see that come in. Let's go. Brooks is hurt by that. Finish wow! It. Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? Stand up, One, stand up. Two, three, four. Malito, get up. And round seven comes to an end. Good. Oh, good. Nice one. Brooks is not looking too good right now as we start round number eight. Now, he's down on your scorecards. That's one thing. But what I'm seeing is a guy that doesn't look to have much left. I question whether or not he can finish this fight. No, Joe, if there was ever a time to get a second win, the time is now. Side to side. 
Move your head. Unable to make an impact there by left hook. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his Move opponent's body shot. Brooks is now switching things up. He was knocked down earlier, so now he's going to try to take a different course. Now, that tells me, if I'm his opponent, a couple of things. Either that he's very clever, that he's making a little switch, or it just gives me confidence that he's desperate. You know, he's never done this before, and in my mind, I'm saying, I got him right where I want him. Takes one to give one. He comes back That's with a right it. hand. Good way to protect the midsection. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Nice block by Brooks. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Lights Out. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Lights Out's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Hey, Brooks is showing that, that he's got go. some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Brooks is dominating this fight every which way, just punishing his opponent, and his opponent has the face to show that result. Well, that's because all the punches that are being thrown, they're accurate punches, and they're all being thrown with bad intentions. Just knifing up with that uppercut by Brooks. Left hook showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Lights out's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Brooks's work rate is impressive, Teddy, but his connect percentage is not. No, there's two reasons for it, Joe. One is his opponent. His opponent is pretty smart there. You know, he's not just standing there saying, hey, hit me. He's moving. He's being smart. To him. He shook him up with that right hand. Good work. And yet another big shot comes in. Perfectly executed combination. Brooks is down. He's going to have to beat the count. Let's go, beat up. Two, three, four. Get up, five, seven. Six, seven, eight. Focus. Nine. Lights out, able to get back up to his feet, but Teddy, this is a much different story than when he survived the last knockdown. That is a situation where he has to be taught how to handle this situation. Has he been taught in the gym? Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Keep moving! Keep moving! And now he brings the left you. hand upstairs. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Brooks. Right hand over the top. Very accurate go, with it. Go. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Nice block by Lights Out. Left hooks landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Back to the body. Nice strike after catching one by lights out. And this round comes to an end. Left hooks well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these he blind moves, judges moves. sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly. But... Big shot there. Brooks's evening could be over soon, folks.
and it's over. Look at this. Left hooks gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that,